In just 33 short years, Topps Heritage will pay tribute to 2008 Topps, one of my favorite modern set designs of all time. Until then, this year we have 1975 Topps. I feel like I have to do some drugs to enjoy this set. You wanna get high? No, we don't wanna get high. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on YouTube? RGL coming at you with a brand new video and today we're checking out 2024 Topps Heritage Baseball. These are coming in right around $100 a box. They do feature one autograph or memorabilia per box. Some of the first cards of Shohei Otani in a Dodgers uniform. Some of the first on-card Ellie De La Cruz autos. If you're new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. As always, I do appreciate a like on my content. Get a lot of comments from time to time. Hey, Run Good, why don't you do Series 1 on the channel? Hey, Run Good, why don't you do Heritage on the channel? I haven't really enjoyed paper products the last couple of years, just where I'm at. I prefer the chromium shiny stuff. But uh, nonetheless, today we are checking out 2024 Topps Heritage Baseball. One auto, one relic per 500 card set. I believe 100 or 50 high numbers, I can't remember. Uh, I, have some, I have some commentary that's going to upset a lot of people today. Um, so... Topps Heritage is home to the quirky things such as flip stocks, uh, color swaps, uh, air quote unquote airs, which aren't really airs, but they're they're airs that they print on the card. I remember like the 2013 Bryce Harper had a bunch of like spelling mistakes on the back. There was like three different ones. They spelled Pittsburgh wrong. Um, so they'd like to do a little quirky stuff, flip stocks, high numbers, all the old stuff from the past when they were like legitimate manufacturing airs back in the 50s and the 60s and I here here's the hot take I think the hobby has passed all that up I think at this point we want image variations we want color we want parallels I think that's a general consensus if you don't fall into that into that category bless you bless you uh because uh you prefer the old school you like the way heritage has always been I used to like that stuff and I think we've just gotten to the point where it's kind of played out and nobody appreciated nobody appreciates it that's my biggest take is the flip stocks, the, you know, color swaps, all of those things, even the high numbers and the action image variations in Heritage, I don't think they get the hobby love they deserve. I don't think they sell for what they should sell for. And for that reason, I think we should just replace them with low-numbered red refractors. <laughs> that's it. People people know a serial number, and that's kind of the dumbing down of the hobby we've seen in the last few years as we have new collectors who don't appreciate the old lineage of the hobby and the heritage of the hobby. Haha, <laughs> heritage. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead. We're going to see a lot of cards today. Oversized box, box topper of uh, Kill a Brew. And uh, I would say I would need to kill a brew after ripping this, but the truth is, might have to take a little tablet of something and uh, listen to some uh, listen to some disco, listen to some groovy 60s tunes, because this is not my favorite set design. 1975 tops, very, very, very much an LCD acid trip. Uh, not much on the box. You do not get uh, pack odds or anything like that. Hopefully we see an auto today. We can also see a hot box where every... Uh, every pack has a purple refractor. I have not personally had one of those in a long time, and we can tell on the first pack we do not have it. But we can tell on the first pack, oh yeah, we're in for a trip. Uh, so here's your design, 1975 Topps design. Uh, not my favorite design. I think it's just a little too busy. Needed to be left in the 70s. I, we do see it from time to time in products like Archives. Uh, New Age Performers of Goldschmidt. Yeah, this is... A little too radical for me, dude. A little too radical for me, dude. But let's see if we can find, uh, you know, one of the cool things that Heritage does have, like some of the relics are hand numbered. There's a one one hand numbered uh, relic. They do put in coins and things like that from year uh, every once in a while. So we might see some, we might see a relic with a 1975 coin inside. I'm gonna be honest. I've seen all these things. I've bought in a couple of them. I'm not convinced they actually exist in packs because I've never actually pulled one. Forest Wall right there, a great name. Devers on the New Age Performers, Gregory Soto. 24 packs, 9 cards per pack. That is a whole mess of cards. There's a whole mess of cabbage right there. Altuve, uh, NL Champs, Corbin Carroll, Acuna. If I miss something, um, I miss something, leave me in the comments. I am thinking most of the high numbers and things like that nature are going to be backwards. So Felix Batista... Um, it's backwards, so it might be something Emerson Hancock. So this, ooh, nice, nice Hancock for my Mariners, who have started off the year kind of rough. Felix Batista was backwards, so I'm thinking if we look at the numbers on the back, this one ends in, and my old man eyes are failing me. 
I think this one ends in 2.5 and it's that, that awful green. This one ends in 1.7, so I'm thinking this might be a short print. It was backwards in the pack, so it might be a short print. I thought they do high numbers in these. I could just be wrong and it could be a short print. There's my dude, Dominic Canzone. He's hit a couple bombs this year. There's Juan Soto, first Juan Soto in a Yankees, and I think that they have the first Juan Soto Yankees auto in this set as well. So there we go. Uh, we have a Chrome. We have a Chrome. I, I don't know. That just looks like a standard Chrome. Sedano Raffaella. So we're looking for Ellie, uh, Ellie, Soto, or uh, Shohei would be the top three money guys. Let's see Boston at the top. Is that Boston? That's Braves. To 575 of, oh, Brewers. Brewers, Christian Yelich. It's always Christian Yelich. If you follow me in any of my group breaks, if you watch any of our lives, you know that we always pull Christian Yelich. I'm going to be very surprised if we see any other Chromes today. These are not even one per box in previous years. Also, atrocious uh, positioning of the serial number stamp. I don't know where else they would have put it on this design. Should probably should have just put it on the back. But that is an atrocious place, Tops, to put that uh, stamp. We'll keep it on going today. We have a lot of packs. I get asked a lot why we don't do... There's Dominguez, nice Dominguez rookie. Why we don't do much paper. And the reason why is it just takes a long time to get into. And I prefer the big hitter boxes. Uh, Francisco Miha, once again, another backwards. I don't know. I've seen a couple backwards. Maybe that's another short print. I'm not sure. And Clark Schmidt. Be here all day if I try and figure out why those cards are backwards. I'm just going to assume that they're short prints. There is Adley, who is no longer a rookie. It's weird opening product without uh, rookie logos on, like Adley. Alvarez, Lars Newt Bar. You get these cool news flashbacks. This is uh, Apollo Test Project and Brandon Woodruff. I think this set is just, you know, I think this set has a very special place in some people's heart. It's a fun set to build, fun set to put together. Uh, Dick Williams right there. Seems kind of weird. Is Dick Williams really the, the manager of the Mariners? Or really the, of the Mariners? Of the Angels right now? I just, I feel like that's an old-timey card. Uh, Nathan Avaldi, Spencer Steer, cup card. Uh, Hishigawa, yeah, these gotta be short prints. I, I don't know, or they're just backwards. Rookie of Heston, that's not bad. How do the Orioles have rookie, like have a have a top chase rookie every year? They're probably gonna have Jackson Holiday next year. He'll probably be the lead in all these products next year, I would imagine. Barraza, Gonzalez, Kyron Paris, Andy Rodriguez. Our auto's actually a good one. Would you look at that? Henry Davis for the Pirates. That's actually one of the better autos, better rookie autos that we can get. Not the top, but one of the good ones. Henry Rod uh, Henry Davis, uh, non-numbered, real one auto. I got to be honest. I went into this. I was just expecting to see a memorabilia because every time I open a box, every time I dome a personal box off camera, it's always a mem. So Henry Davis auto. There we go. On card too. On card Henry Davis. Probably going to be our best card of the day unless we see like a chrome or a flip stock to five or something along those lines but we'll see maybe we see a nice ellie today trey turner miguel amaya kyle harrison uh seager zach nato zach geloff juan soto new age performers and mark canna see if my dude meach has a mariners card yet i assume hanny will probably have a card in chrome no i don't think though i think it's a little too early for them to get him in that mariners uniform drew rom dl hall Luis Machos, uh, Lane Thomas, probably a short print, and Robbie Grossman. So we got a Chrome. We got a Chrome and an Auto. This is actually a pretty good box, above above average box. Max Meyer, Whit Merrifield, Josh Young. That is gonna be a ooh. That's gonna be a swap. Uh, that's gonna be a swap, right? William Contreras and Jason Delay. I wish. I, I almost wish they would dumb down the hobby even more. And there it is, right there. Yeah says uh white border it says white border right there so then do these say sp they don't they should i, I don't know these cards that have been backwards like what, which ones the hishigawa i gotta put them in their own separate pile otherwise i'm gonna have no clue what they are yeah felix batista i don't know these short prints so i'm gonna have to figure out after the video um i do like that they put white border obviously it's a white border but i i like that they kind of spell out exactly what it was they should do that more often because they did the they started doing the codes like 2017 2018ish I think on the codes where the code on the back will tell you what it is but then you have to go online and like look and see what the codes all mean. So, 
I do like that they kind of dumb it down a little bit. And uh, that's kind of where we're at. Another white border. That's going to be Cole Riggins. And Bryce Miller from our Mariners. He can spin it. Cole Reagan's white border as well. So the one thing that I am noticing as I rip through this box, and I've only I haven't done heritage on the channel. I don't think I did it last year. Um, as I rip through this box, I'm noticing there there's just more inserts, parallels, things of that nature. It's not just like pack after pack of just like base cards and rookies. Is that Granky? Uh, Tyler Rogers. So we've seen like a couple white borders. We've seen a chrome. We got an auto. We've seen some short prints. So it has been a little more enjoyable rip. This one, the print run has gone up in uh, recent years. And when the print run goes up, that means the hits go down and they become distributed more across more boxes. Uh, Isaac Paredes, probably a short print, Coily. Or it's just a backwards card every few packs and they're just throwing us off. They're just throwing us for a loop. Still looking for Ellie. We haven't seen Ellie and we haven't seen Shohei on uh, rookies and uh, him and his Dodgers uni. Baseball flashbacks and Joey Wendell. But leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys are ripping any heritage. I know we will have retail of this. I actually like the Mega Box, which usually come with the white sparkle. There's a Jordan Westberg. How do the Orioles have so many good rookies? Uh, Yoshida no longer a rookie. That's weird. Uh, Joey Votto. Is there something weird about that card? No, just a normal Joey Votto. That's kind of weird. Just a red. I feel like that's different. I feel like we've seen like no other brown cards maybe am i just yeah there's that there's a verdugo disregard disregard it's just this damn set design that i'm not a fan of Vinny poscatino uh estuary ruiz bryson stott another backwards kyle finnegan if these are the short prints they chose some names they chose some interesting names to be short prints we haven't seen an action yet. There's an Otani, but that's not the one we're looking for. Just a home run leaders card. CJ Abrams, Simeon, Arias, Rodon. Diaz, that is going to be a 1980s most valuable players. You've got George Brett and Mike Schmidt right there. Uh, 2022 most valuable players. Uh, Goldie and Aaron Judge on a couple 2022 tops base cards. And Lizardo. Probably be a fun set to collect all the MVPs. I used to put together this set every year. I'm just past putting together sets. Just you build it and then you put it in a box and you never look at it again. Oh, and white. Uh, then and now you've got Shohei and Mike Schmidt. That's actually a nice one. And then Patrick Bailey. All right, we're down to five packs left. See if we get another Chrome today. I don't even think about seeing gold refractors to five or super refractors anymore. Those cards just don't exist to me in uh, Heritage because I've never. I've been ripping this product for like. Probably since 2010-ish is when I started liking this. I've been ripping this product for a long time. I've never even sniffed anything remotely that cool. Brendan Rodgers, probably a short print. Tariq Skubal. Never even sniffed anything remotely that cool. Evan Carter. George Springer. Uh, Stowers. Uh, Alex Spies. Uh, 2014's Most Valuable Players. You've got Trout and Kershaw. Ooh, that means there's going to be an 08. There's going to be an 08 card this year. I just realized that. Who is most valuable in 08? Was it like Ryan Howard? 08 MVPs? I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm, Ryan Howard might be one of them. 08? That's a long time ago. Must be the drugs because I can't remember. Uh, Luis Robert. Abbott. Brandon Marsh and his beard. Yogi Berra. That's got to be like a high number, right? Not even a high number, number 123. Uh, that is going to be a highlights no-hitter. Okay, that can't be a short print. What are we doing with this backwards card? That can't be a short print. No way. And Jordan Romano. Two packs left. I probably missed a bunch of high numbers. Maybe Shohei's a high number. That's why we haven't seen him. Maybe Ellie's a high number. Uh, 500 card set, you're getting like 200 cards per box. So you need about three boxes, theoretically, to make this set. Kolos and Devin Williams. All right, last chance. Any Ellie, any Shohei. Let's see. Uh, Reed Detmer's right there. Tyler Soderstrom. Walker Bueller. Jeremy Pena. Will Smith. Austin Riley. New Age. And finishing off strong with the big dumper himself, Cal Raleigh. Man, I love me some Cal Raleigh. Overall, though, I will say I do think, you know, this box was maybe not the most entertaining video that I've ever done for sure, but. 
I do think that this was an above average box, and the reason why I think it's above average, not because I have a Lane Thomas and Kyle uh, Higashioka, I don't know how to say that name, and not because I got a Chrome and because we got some uh, white borders, which were nice, you know, a couple bucks probably on most of these cards. Uh, Soto, yeah, Soto high number. I'm actually curious to see what the numbering is on this one. Oh, just 143, okay. Uh, but the reason why I think this box was above average, we got an auto. You don't get an auto in every box. And this one was Henry Davis, who is probably one of the upper, probably one of the guys you do want. I know he hasn't necessarily had the best minor league career. He came out with a lot of uh, hype in like 2021 Bowman, I think 21 Bowman draft maybe for Henry Davis. And then he kind of, you know, kind of bounced around the minors a little bit. But the Pirates started off really hot this year. And uh, yeah, Henry Davis, not a bad auto. And like I said, not every box is going to have an auto. Most boxes you're going to open, you're not going to get a Chrome card. And you're not going to get a auto. You're going to get a mem. Uh, $100 a box. It's a fun collector set. Going for big hits. You're going to be very, very disappointed because that's not what this product is. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of Heritage. Did you rip any? Are you putting together the set? Do you like the design this year? That is my time for today. Take care. Stay safe. And we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.